we're going to get into today. Well, today is distilling day for our peach brandy. Uh, we're going to have to do, I will say, a half a strip and run. Uh, we'll get into that. But first things first, welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, so let's get going. Okay. Open up this fermenter. Now, I didn't show you before, but this thing, it did build a big cap up on the distillate. And every day I would punch it down. And then once it done fermenting, it, uh, it all sank. Okay, so we know it's done. Real sour. I did check it with a hydrometer so it come out dry. I did put a screen over the uh, this still pot. You know, I don't want any chance of any um, solid matter. I usually cycle, but I couldn't pick this up. It's just a little heavy. So let me get all this. Like I read, I'm gonna do a strip and run because this is this is almost ten gallons. But now you're gonna have a lot of sediment at the bottom. If I get this much out of it, I'll be able to pick it up and I siphon it off. All right, so let me get this done and I'll be back. heating myself up. I have fire under the pot and I also have electric in the heating element. Uh, I'm starting to get a little heat coming off the column. Pot temperatures right about 175. I'm getting a couple drips off of the uh, spout there. Now remember this is a stripping run. Once I get this to, to start uh, going I will increase the heat 
And once I get it to bounce out, I'm going to run this as hard as, I, as my condenser will allow me. I mean, I'm not worried about flavors right now. I'm not worried about heads. I'm not worried about tails. So what we're going to do is we're just going to collect, 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 collect. And then uh, what we'll do is like a half a strip and run. So what we'll do is we'll collect this alcohol, empty the still out, and then we will refill the still with the rest of the uh, mash that I have, add this alcohol back to it, and then we'll do like a spirit run, like I normally do. So, like I said, the goal right now is to get the alcohol out of what's in this still pot right now. And uh, it's gonna start happening real soon. And like we always say, don't walk away. Head temperature still norm, you know, just low. About, you know, 80 some degrees. But I can feel it starting to come up the column now. So I'm gonna get ready to shut the heat down a little bit. But I don't want it to puke. Yeah, she's starting to come up now. And this one reason I love cyclists. You can really see what's going on. So I'll be turning the heat down there. All right, well, let's get this going. And we'll get this strip and run started. Okay, let me let you know where I'm at. Well, my first, uh, my demo strip and run, I ended up with, you know, a gallon and a quarter of good distillate. So what do we do next? Okay, so next what I'm going to do is clean out my still. I'm going to put the, uh, the rest of my mash, my peach mash, into the still. I'm going to add this back into it, and I'm going to have, uh, then I'll run it low and slow like I normally do. And uh, we should get some good, uh, good peach brandy. Uh, this smells fantastic. It tastes good. It's very, very good. A little hot, but it's very good. So, let me uh, get ready to get my still cleaned out. And then uh, we're going to get ready to move on to the uh, second half of this run. Alright, so... Uh, we, like I said before, we did my strip, my half strip and run, and now we're going to do, would it be a spirit run? There is a word for this, but I ain't quite sure what it is. But anyway, that's what we're going to do next, okay? So I'll see you back in a little while. So I finished up getting out my fermenter. I got about another three gallons of <clears throat> mash in my still pot. So now it's time to add in my low wines. I remembered what they call it. It's, uh, add my low wines in and then we'll get uh, set up and we'll start to uh, get ready to ferment it or start uh, the still run again, okay? Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, like I said, I got the rest of my um, mash in there. I put my low wines back in there. Now, one thing you want to make sure that you do, couple, two things. Number one is you want it to be below 40 ABV uh, because it, I've read it's a fire hazard if it's anything over that. You should not put anything in your still higher than 40 ABV. Uh, the next thing, the heating element. Remember, we're going, we put a good gallon and a quarter of low wines in there. And then we also have the alcohol that was in the mash. Once we take that out, we got to make sure that that heating element is still covered up. You can't run them dry, okay? <clears throat> For a few different reasons. It could start a fire. Uh, plus, it's just not good. All right, so what, do you, what can you do? Alright, put clean, good clean water in there. That's not, it's not, that won't hurt anything. Put good clean water in there, get the level up, and make sure that you got enough fluid in there to keep your heating element covered after you took all the alcohol out, plus 
below 40 ABV. All right. So we're getting ready to get this thing started again, and uh, we'll be back when we're for the next phase. Okay. All right. We're gonna call this run done. Uh, got some great looking stuff there. This this last charter, I can see it's a little bit cloudy. Got into tails, but everything else looks beautiful. Okay, so a real quick recap of what we've got done so far. All right, first video, we used fresh peaches. Uh, we mixed them with water and some sugar. I think, if I remember right, it was 1.060 was our starting gravity. Uh, it fermented for two weeks, and the cap, it formed on there. It fermented for two weeks, and it I punched the cap down every day and it sank. So, and then, today we started distilling. Uh, we did a, we filled the still pot one time. We did a stripping run. Uh, then after that we put about, I think I had three gallons left, right around three gallons of, of ferment, or been a long day of mash left so I'll put it in the still I'll put the uh, distillate from the strip and run in there and then we add a little bit of cold water so we had enough of uh, in the uh, still so we ended up with uh, just about a gallon of good distillate uh, it's gonna be about a gallon of good hearts all this tastes fantastic it is Mm, nice, good. It's all hot though. But I, so it needs to be proofed down. We're not doing that today. So what we're going to do is let this air out for a day. And then on the third part of this series, we are going to finish up our peach brandy three different ways. Uh, I think it's going to be a, two of them is going to be brandies. And the other one is going to be something a little bit different. So you'll find that out on the next video. All right. I guess the last thing I got to do is I got to, well, I'm going to let the silk cool down after a while. Yeah, everything needs to be taken apart and scrubbed and cleaned and all that good stuff. You know how that is. Um, it's a little messy with the peach, but that's okay. Uh, you can see that is, look at that. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? All right, this is going to be fantastic. So I guess the last thing i got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works in Brook. Cheers, everybody. Oh, this is going to be good.